Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. My interpretation in the light of Quran and Hadith that there are two types of orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One is absolute orders and others are relative orders. Absolute orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like for example Allah's absolute order that it is said in the Quran that it is kitab that is prescribed on you or, or in other places it is said directly that this is made obligatory on you that is fard on you that is on the Muslims for many acts to be done that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran for example in Surah Nisa chapter 4th ayat 103 Allah said it is prescribed on you the salah that is prayer on defined time that is on on uh, time prescribed five times that is five times of prayers for you that is on Muslims so absolute order like this of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Sahih Hadith are mandatory or fard for Muslims and the relative orders are mustahab or recommended and whoever omitted or missed by the missed the mandatory acts for by forgetfulness or unconsciously like if sleeping the sleeping missed the obligatory salah or prayer sometimes must be fulfilled as soon as it possible later inshallah and whoever totally left the mandatory acts are committed major sin because in the quran and in hadith it is there that those who do not pray will go to hell for the punishment in akhirah so the major sin uh, sins are those to which the punishments are prescribe in Quran or Sahih Hadith in this world or in the Akhirah, in the hereafter. Whoever involved in major sins must do Tawbah, that is must not do that sin for next time, for salvation, for, for uh, salvation and for asking forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and regarding relative orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like it is there that if you are in etikaf in masjid uh, in Ramadan nights so then the intimacy with the wife are not permitted or forbidden if not in etikaf then you are allowed to have intimacy in nights of Ramadan. That is in Quran, uh, it's, it's absolute, not, it's a relative order. The relative orders of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also which is mustahab or recommended but if you done that acts, you have extra rewards or grades in Jannah inshallah but no one can ban or forbidden the mustahab acts that is recommended acts for example if not done the, the recommended acts there is no sin on you inshallah for example the relative order of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his Sahih Hadith of Al-Bukhari regarding beard. In my, uh, 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 regarding beard, 
द हदीत ऑफ इब्न उमर हु सेट डैट मैसेंजर ऑफ अल्लाह पीस एंड ब्लेसिंग ऑफ अल्लाह बी अपॉन हिम सेड बी डिफरेंट और लुक डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द मुशरकिन और डिसबिलीवर्स लेट योर बियर्ड ग्रो एंड ट्रिम योर मुस्टैश अल बुखारी सिमिलर हदीस इज देयर रिगार्डिंग द डाइंग ऑफ बियर्ड और हेयर्स विद कलर अदर देन ब्लैक कलर to look to look different from the disbelievers to be recognized as a muslim in the mixed crowd or a mixed crowd of the people different religion people allahu alam